Hey guys, Chris, Ironhead Garage. Well, we got the 55 up on jack stands and uh, working on her a little bit. Hey, check out the plate. My buddy Rick over there, Poor Possum, got me. Got it from Shady Side. Yeah, pretty cool. Nah, I ain't gonna put it there on the 55 when we're hanging on the wall or something. But that's super cool from Rick. I appreciate it, Rick. Too cool, straight from Shady Side Dragway. Yeah, it's a pretty cool track. But uh, so I had this old 55 jacked up in the air, and uh, I was checking the wheel bearings, and I rocked the the bottom of the wheel. You know, shook it back and forth, and I thought I had a bad or loose wheel bearing, but it was the shim on the spindle. So when I got the straight axle kit from Speedway they come with these little thin shims well they're a couple thousands super thin so thin you can barely see it there on film but uh, when I assembled it it came with four of them when I assembled it I was only able to get one between the the axle boss and then the spindle so uh, I had paint on it so that might have been the trouble so I could see that spindle rocking a little bit on that straight axle. So I took this side all apart. I took the caliper off, dropped the uh, tie rod bracket, took the wheel off, and uh, took the kingpin out. And I was able to get the second one in there on the top there. And I believe if it's a stock, you'd put uh, stock spindles like 50s Chevy. You would put the, the shims down here on the bottom below the bearing. But these are pretty big and round, and they, they will hit the back back here. So you put them up top on the straight axle from Speedway. So I got it all back together. I greased it. I still got to put the, the caps back on here, the dust caps. And I checked the wheel bearing. I did tighten it up one, uh, one turn, or not a turn, a uh, flat. Turn it one flat and put the cotter pin back in. And put the dust cap back on. So over here on this side, let me put this little guy here. So this side's rocking just a little bit too. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a little bit of little bit of play in this one. So since I've drove it and stuff, maybe it's just broken in, and I'll be able to get this uh, this other shim in there on the top of that axle boss between the spindle so I got these uh, wheel lugs broke loose so I'm going to take this wheel off and uh, we'll see if we can rock rock it or not and I'll probably check this wheel bearing too since it's a part maybe give it a a one flat turn on the spindle nut then we'll re-grease this one. We'll take it all apart and re-grease it. I was thinking, since I've been grinding all on this stuff and I painted it all, and all that grinding dust went in there, and so it was good that I took the other, the driver's side apart and cleaned it anyway. So I'm gonna do the same with this one. So I'm gonna get that tire off and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll be back. Look at that, Southeast Gassers. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Well, I got the camera set in there. You can see, you guys can see this wiggle in here a little bit. It's not much, but uh, you see that wiggle back and forth a little bit on that axle, that spindle. So, so there's that shim. So we're gonna take this uh, upper top, upper drag link off of here and pop the caliper off with the bracket and drop this lower one take this little dust cover off just put a little bit of uh, RTV sealing on here and put the dust cover on I never installed the bottom ones I gotta do that but it's good to go over all this there was a lot of nut and bolts make sure they're all tight put fresh grease in that kingpin Get that uh, other shim in there. 
And then uh, I'll check this wheel bearing too. I, I packed the bearings real good when I did it, but uh, we'll take uh, the cap off here, the dust cap. Off the rotor, maybe we can get in another flat. We don't want it too tight, but uh, and then we'll put her back together. So I'm gonna get to removing all this stuff and uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, got her stripped down. It took about four minutes probably to get all them parts off of there. The drag link, the tie rod bracket, and the caliper. So, uh, there's that little bit of play in it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. But, uh, so there's a, a clip there you gotta take out. And then there's a, you see that, an Allen bolt there. That goes into the flat spot of the, the kingpin. Check this out. Yeah, they were just snug in there. So that's a good thing I was taking this apart. Ain't like the kingpin would fall out or anything. That probably would stay there forever, but uh, we'll get that nice and tight when I put it all back together. So it's good that I'm re-greasing it. You see all that grinding dust is all around there. Didn't get in there too bad. The seal's in there, but I got the caliper sitting there. So I'm gonna pull that that clip out of there, and there and there's one on the bottom here pull that uh that allen stud out of there and drop that kingpin down and uh get that spindle off there and clean it all up i went and got me a new pair of uh pliers check these out made by channel lock they don't sponsor me or nothing actually they're expensive they're about 35 bucks but man they come with a different size ends got the little allen set screws there so you can change them came with the 90s different sizes and uh, they pinch that way you flip the little lever and they click and then they open yeah pretty trick haven't bought me a new tool in a while so oh they're nice to have oh and check this out if you can see that come on focus well there it is Main USA. Yeah, that's nice to see. Get yourselves a pair. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Alright, I'm getting this spindle off. Jet cars. Oh yeah. So, you got that spindle off there. And you can see how dirty the grease is on there. Yeah. I believe it was red when I uh, greased them all. It's all that grinding dust from grinding this whole car, building it. So I put this axle in first, and there's a dust cover. Yeah, and that's some nasty grease there. So, and on the end of the kingpin, that was the bottom. So that's nasty grease. There's that flat spot right there where that uh, Allen Allen stud uh, locks the kingpin in. There's the bearing. It has bronze bushings in there with the grease certs and here's that bottom bearing so yeah she's pretty crody so I'm gonna clean all this old grease off and it's got little roller bearings in there ball bearings and I'll uh, clean it out as best I can and put a bunch more fresh grease in there and that part goes down you can see there, there's a bunch of nasty grease, dirty grease in there. So it's good that I'm checking this and putting fresh grease in it. Hey, look at that little spot there I missed. Painting, when I had it all together after putting the front end on, trying to paint that little spot, couldn't hit that spot, so maybe I'll spray that. I'm going to clean all this up and uh, see if I can get that other shim in there. Nasty grease. All right, guys. Well, I got them all cleaned up and re-greased. There you go. Yeah, be generous with that grease. You want to make sure that kingpin's nice and greased in there. You don't want it seasoned up. I've seen old straight axles before that kingpin gets 
seized in there from no one ever greasing them. You got to heat these up and beat that out of there with a punch. That's not very good. Grease them bearing, grease that bearing up real good. Put a bunch of grease on that king pin down in that axle boss. Spray me a little black paint there. So anything that uh, squeezes out when I assemble all this, you just wipe it all off and then you know it's all greased. Then after it's all together, pump these grease certs full of grease until that grease comes out of that uh, that boss of that straight axle. It'll start pushing out of there. Just wipe off that excess and then you know it's nice and greased. So that bearing here, that goes flat on there. Then them shims will go between the boss and the spindle there. On top of there, I'm going to try to get both of them in there. I got them greased up. And there's that flat spot right there on that kingpin. You just want to make sure it's lined up with that Allen set screw. That's what locks your kingpin in there. And then you got them clips there that go into the spindle that uh, keeps those dust caps in there. And a little more security for that kingpin. All right. We got the heater burning. Make a noise over there. Yeah, brain ain't going to take the 55 out this weekend. It's raining. Seems like every weekend in the springtime around here it rains. But at least we got the shop to mess around with. With the 55. And uh keeps me busy. Alright guys. I'm going to get this spindle back on there. See if I got any more play. So there it is all put back together. Got plenty of grease in there. I was able to get that uh, second shim in there without beating on it or anything. Yeah, I think it just needed to be broken in. I think some of that paint on there was a little thick. But she's nice and tight now. I got that set screw set real tight. And there's no play in it now. So then uh, got this dust cap here. Pop this guy in there. Hold the pusher down. It's got a little groove in there for that snap ring. See if I can do this with one hand. Got the snap ring there on the pliers. It just sets down in there. Give her a little spin. Make sure she's in the groove. Always like to press it down make sure you get the snap in there good you don't want that failing maybe even give her a turn each way a little bit make sure it's locked in there good so i'm going to put that other uh snap ring there in the bottom bottom of the spindle then i got these little uh, dust caps so I'm going to clean this a little bit of RTV uh, silicone off of there. And then I'll clean the, the top of this grease off of here and just put just a little couple dabs on there. And that guy will sit right there and keep any uh, dirt or actually mostly water from getting down inside there. And then there's one on the bottom. That'll go up there and seal it keep the road grime from getting in there so I'm gonna get my grease gun I'm gonna get that other clip in the bottom put the dust cap in there first and then the clip I'm gonna get the grease gun hook them on each grease cert here and, and pump them until uh, grease starts pumping out of this shim spot here and then uh, out of this bearing and just let it ooze out a little bit then you can clean it all up Get all that excess grease off of there, and uh, then you know they're good for a while. And grease these every uh, springtime. Pump some in there. You don't ever want these kingpins seasoned up. This old girl won't get drove in the rain very much, but uh, it's good to keep them grease. And always clean that excess off. Won't hurt it. Then I'm going to pop this dust cap off of here and take that cotter key out of there and uh, maybe give it one more flat on the turn and check it 
tighten it till it tightens out, bottoms out, and then turn it back one flat. It's actually how you should do it, I guess. But it actually feels pretty good, but we'll check it anyway. So I'm going to get this put back together. See you in a minute. Well, I got them grease. I wanted to bring it back and show you. But look at that grease. Just oozed out of there. It started oozing out of the bottom. And on top of that bearing. And out of them shims. And it even started squirting out of the top. So now you know. Your king pins are grease. For sure. Yeah, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Just get a rag and clean all that excess stuff off of there. But. The rappel water, keep it from seizing up. All right, back together she goes. Super stockers, yeah. Some of you guys would have drove back in high school, probably. Some of you older fellers, but uh, got her all back together now. Pretty cleaned up. I think she's nice and tight now. We'll know for sure when I get the wheel on, but I. Uh, Wiggle it up and down, and there's no play. So, I checked the wheel bearing. It was good. I tried to turn in another flat. It was too tight, so I backed it back off, put the cap back on. Took some brake cleaner, and cleaned the rotor all up. Any uh, grease I got on there. And I gotta put these old mags back on. Hey, check this out. Gotta like it when you spin your wheel around and you see U.S. Indy Mag, yeah, nothing better than the old school stuff, guys. They're hard to find, but man, well worth the money. Old school is cool. All right, I'm going to get this wheel back on. Well, there it is, all put back together. Everything nice and tight. No more play in those spindles. So that was a good lick. It was good to change all that... Uh, that spindle grease anyway. The side's all good too. Got her back on the rollers. The only way I can get it out of that door, I just spin this car around. The old 55, point her towards the door, jack her up and take her off them uh, dollies. Then I can pull on out of here. But, uh, so that'll be it for now. We'll let the rain pass by. There goes the heater back on. We'll let the rain go away. Maybe next weekend uh, we'll take her out again. Hopefully the weather will be good. I'd like to wish my buddy Charlie a uh, good weekend. I hope you get better, buddy. We're thinking about you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. See you next time.